My lecturer once told me the story of a man who climbed mountains, suffered a terrible disease that would leave him physically disabled, and through sheer determination got well enough in mind and spirit to climb mountains again. This is the story of David Lim, a hero to me and other Singaporeans as well. David is well known for leading the first Singapore team to Mount Everest. That passion for mountain climbing would soon come to an end. When a week returning from the Everest expedition, he was diagnosed with guillain barre syndrome, a rare disorder where the immune system attacks nerves. It would leave him bedridden and paralyzed for months. I then asked him of his thoughts when hearing about the disease for the first time. My first reaction is disbelief. And then you get into a sort of denial. And finally, as the reality sinks in, you just have to accept your situation and try to make the best out of it. I wondered, what if it happened to me? I wonder where did he get the mental strength to overcome his physical disabilities? One of the key things that got me out of hospital in a reasonable time was the fact that I was very motivated to get my life back. Giving up was not really an option. Because, <laughs> I mean, what's the alternative if you give up? And since mountaineering was a big part of my life, that acted as a kind of a goal, a motivator. That love of mountaineering would be the fuel to drive him through months of hard, extensive physical therapy. But it would not leave him the same person again. Doing simple tasks would be much harder, like opening a bottle would never be the same as before. You can have some influence on your destiny and your future and your family or your career and your loved ones. I think it's very important to have that. So it all boils down again, if you think about it, to those little small everyday goals that are meaningful to you and that are aligned with your greater goal. And to achieve that greater goal, he packed his bag and decided to climb Mount Aconcagua, the highest peak in the Americas. And he did it as a disabled person. But that climb was not only for him. David helped raise awareness for the Society for the Physically Disabled. That is why he is my hero for this video, because I believe such passion and strength of a man's character and body should be acknowledged. I guess anybody can be a hero. I think the elements that make up a hero could be making a massive personal sacrifice to achieve something for the greater good. Now this is what I call a really good breakfast.